Hello everybody, in this session we're going to look at light painting or light rail. So I'm in the moment app and there's a preset for this. So I'm going to click the preset and you can see I've got motion blur or I've got light trails. So what this is doing is it's allowing your shutter on your phone camera to stay open longer. So I'm going to click light trails and I'm just running over to the light switch now. So I'm just going to turn the light off and then I'm going to get a torch. I've just got a very simple torch. And I'm going to show you how this works. So I've just pressed the button and as you can see, I'm in the space and I'm just moving the torch around. There we go. And it's as simple as this, guys. You can just move your light around the space. And what it's doing is it's keeping that shutter on your phone open and it's enabling you to capture that light. So if we just have a quick look at this and there we go. So that's my image before I do any editing or any color grading. So let's go back and let's try a couple of different ones. So again, I've got the light off. So it needs to be dark for you to do this. Otherwise, obviously, it's going to capture all of the light. So I'm just going to try a different one. Because this is a really bright light, you can see that it's making my legs appear and disappear. I really like that effect personally. But if it's not the effect that you want, you will need a slightly less brighter light. So let's have a quick look at this image now. And there we go. Again, no editing done at all there. I'm going to try one more with this technique. Then I'm going to move on and show you another way you could do this. Okay, so I'm here and I'm just trying different things. So what I'm doing in this technique is I'm turning the light on and off. But you can see, because the light warms down, there's a very faint trail. So again, I'm turning it on and off and I'm just moving in different spaces. So forwards and backwards on my image. And that doesn't read as well as I thought it might actually read on here. So when you're doing light painting, you don't have a great sense of depth. So you really want to think about your left and your right as opposed to your forwards and your backwards. So again, let's have a quick look at this image and we'll move on to another way to experiment with different forms of light painting. So again, actually it turned out quite well and it gives you a really nice effect with the light. So you get this glow coming out. I personally really like that. So this is a light installation I've built um, for a different project that I'm working on. And obviously it's light, so I thought it'd be a really good um, way to use this light trail. One thing I do need to mention is if you're going to do this technique, you really need your phone on a tripod or be able to keep it really stable. Otherwise, you're going to get lots of motion blur. So let's just try this again. I'm just going to move the camera a little bit closer so we've got a different feel. So I do apologize about the shakiness of this. Okay, there we go. And let's uh, create a light trail. What I love about this technique is how as you're capturing your light trail on your phone, you get to see how it all comes together and you get to see what the camera's doing. So, okay, here we go. Let me just move this around. Oh, that would be my hand there. So something to consider that you don't get your hand in the shot. Um, otherwise that will be form part of your, um, your final image. And obviously you can't get rid of that um, in the edit. So there's another light trail. Let's have a look at some of the images that these have created before I edited them. And there you have it guys. That's how you do light painting with the Moment app. You can't do this with the standard native app on an iPhone at present. So you do need to have the Moment app or other app to do this. Okay, guys, have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you in the next session.